All right, this is a quick video on our Monday macros for ETC. We're gonna walk through some of the macros I have. Um, we'll start here at macro one. Pretty straightforward macro one is learn BPM. And as you can see, the command is simply learn underscore time underscore sample underscore BPM. And that's just a quick macro to learn the BPM so that you can use that in your effects. The next one is one that we have available on some of our touch screens, which is clear, sneak, enter. Pretty common uh, command, you hear that all through the trainings. Here we've got a clear sneak time of three. Um, so that uh, takes it out in the timing of three instead of the default, which we have set in our console to five. I know some houses use a sneak time of zero by default. So anyways, this is just showing an example of defining a specific time to sneak in. Um, update trace, we use this extensively um, from a, a touchscreen perspective um, or hard, hard button keys. Um, so one button instead of two, update, and that traces that update back up your cue stack. Um, also, just to point out here, in case you didn't know, the double pipe symbol, when you're using those things in things like uh, magic sheets, uh, the double pipe symbol does a line break. So it shows up update and then trace underneath that. Uh, the next one is complete. Not everybody knows about this one. So complete means finish this queue transition in the time I'm saying. So this is gonna take the current queue and complete it in three seconds. So say that the original queue is written to be a 20 second fade and you're in the middle of that. If you hit this button, it will wrap that queue up within three seconds and this wraps it up within one second. Use this more in theater than other environments, but this is when the transition happening on stage is faster than we anticipated. We don't exactly want to do it as a manual cue where we're actually doing a manual crossfade, but this is the, hey, we've got a 20 second fade for this thing on stage to happen. And oh my goodness, they're going way faster. Are they skipped lines? Are they forgot lines? We're jumping to the next section. So this lets us get there still without like immediately going there in zero seconds, but we have the option to go in one second or three. And cosmetically, I call complete now, uh, even though it does take one second. And then number nine is go. Um, so this is uh, uh, QList one fader master go. And this is used primarily, I use this to trigger this macro using uh, o OBS, so a remote control sort of environment. Um, so those are nine macros that we're gonna go over now. Uh, normally I would do 10, but 10 in this case starts another next section of macros. So we'll save that for another day. Thanks, uh, like, and subscribe. And I'm gonna try to put these out every Monday, walking you through some of the macros we use. Thanks so much.